everyone. This is a quick tour around the new Minecraft Education Edition Hour of Code experience. If you do have a Minecraft Education Edition license, you can also sign in and play the Hour of Code lesson, which is located in the content library under Lessons and Computer Science. But if you don't have an account, you can also still play through this demo lesson here. Simply accept the terms and click play. And we'll go ahead and start the lesson and create this world. The Hour of Code challenges are all set up sequentially in order of difficulty. At each challenge, there is what's called a non-player character uh, and a helper bot. If you right click on any helper bot, they can help you reset or skip the challenge if you get stuck, but you have to at least try to solve it first. To get the instructions for each challenge, go ahead and cl right click on the non-player character. Um, in this case, it looks like we have to open the gate to the fire research center using code. So go ahead and close the message window and then press C on your keyboard to open up make code. Notice that this screen looks a bit different from the regular Minecraft make code editor. It opens directly to a tutorial and with only a limited set of custom blocks that you can use and no JavaScript editor. And the colors look a bit different too. Now I can make this coding window half screen or full screen by clicking on these different toggles here. And let's go ahead and drag this open gate block over to my workspace. And when I'm done coding, I press this big green play button to execute my code in the game. All right, and then I can go to the next challenge here. And this next challenge, I will have to code my agent, uh, which is that cute little robot guy. and we'll move him forward by three steps. Now notice if you do something wrong, for example, if we move our agent up by three steps um, and press play, uh, it looks like we'll have to try again. Um, there's also some hints available for you here. If you click on your agent icon here, um, it can also give you some valuable hints. All right, so let's go ahead and move him forward. All right, and move on to the next challenge. Now in each of these challenges, we are coding our agent to identify uh, fire hazards. So we'll want to move our agent, uh, program our agent to move, but also to analyze any fire hazards. So in this case, it looks like we're moving our agent forward and then analyzing some dry brush here. So. I can drag and drop some blocks. And I think we're moving him forward by four. There we go. Now this next challenge is a bit, uh, it's a bit challenging. So for some of the students that are a little bit more experienced in programming, they might uh, enjoy this one. So you'll notice there, uh, we'll have to program our agent to get through a maze here. Um, and there is an easy maze and a hard maze. So when we talk to our NPC character, we can choose the short path or the long path. Uh, in this case, I'm just going to do the short path um, for time. All right, and it looks like we'll have to move our agent forward six, turn right, move forward two, turn left, and move forward four. So let's go ahead and do that. And there goes our agent. All right. And then we'll just scooch down this ladder here walk through the maze. 
And now we're going to head into the fire hazard uh, research facility. We'll talk to this researcher. Um, and we'll go through a series of AI challenges. Let's talk to this AI specialist. Um, we'll have to teach the agent about which plants are hazardous. So, but in this case, we're going to click on the no button if we think this is a fire hazard and the yes button um, if, or actually the no button if we don't think it's a fire hazard and yes button if we do think it's a fire hazard. Now this plant looks nice and green here, so I'm going to click no and that's correct. This one is gray, is dry, so I'm going to click yes for fire hazard and continue on. All right, quest completed. Move to the next station. Uh, and this one, it looks like we'll have to train our agent uh, to um, identify fire hazards. So press C to open the make code builder. And we'll look at some blocks that are already put on the workspace for us here. So while hazards remain, if the agent detects a dry brush in front of the agent, then we'll destroy it. How about that? Great job. Move on to the next one. Now this is, looks like, uh, alert the team if a fire hazard is found. So let's open up our code builder window. And now uh, if a hazard is found, we'll alert the team. And that one does look like a fire hazard, so our agent is alerting the team. Now for the fun part. There's a helicopter. We're going to take a ride in the helicopter. So let's talk to the fire captain. Let's go. I teleported to a village area and we see our agent is down below uh, with some plants and other fire hazards. Let's talk to the fire captain. Okay, we need to have our agent clear a line of dry brush. So let's take a look here. Press C to open the coding window. All right, so while hazards remain, if the agent detects dry brush in front of him, then let's destroy that brush. Otherwise, let's just go ahead and move forward by one. Hooray, we created a fire break, it looks like. And what's that? Oh, lightning, an electrical storm. Oh, there's fire. Oh dear. Luckily, it hits the fire break. I completed the hour of code. Uh, and now um, the village is saved from fire. So when I talk to the firefighter, I can take a picture of my work. I can also do um, additional coding activities by replanting uh, flowers and spawning animals. So let's go ahead and press C to open up the code window again. And this time when my player walks, I'll place um, some nice green grass at my player's feet and maybe I'll spawn some animals. Um, how about parrots and, um, and chickens? All right, so, and maybe I should do that uh, a couple blocks above my player's head. So now when I press play, I can walk around and I see um, some nice green grass that gets planted at my feet, and I see parrots and chickens uh, spawning all around. Uh, and so now students can just freely explore the village, um, try spawning all sorts of different types of animals and plants, um, and continue uh, just playing and coding. When they're done, 
you can um, exit by clicking uh, the escape key and, and doing I'm finished. When you do, you have the picture you've taken here. You can get a cert uh, hour of code certificate um, with your name um, and then exit the lesson.